what's going on lagging there guys? My name is Poe and I'm your host for this weapon review kind of impression sort of deal. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a gander at the Soros Regime Year 2 version. And, uh, you know what they say, right? Once you go black, yeah, you get spinning up instead of just focused fire. Where were you going with that? So, ha! Uh, this gun is definitely... It. I want to like it, but it sucks, so I really can't do that. So it's like, yeah, if you're into poor life decisions, then you want to equip this weapon and use it as your exotic of choice. So consider me your guide to making sure you don't cut too deep. <laughs> this gun is not half bad. The catch is, it just needs a damage buff. Obviously, if you did not know, Focus Fire used to be absolutely incredible. They nerfed it too much, and now it's actually an extreme nerf to the weapon. The only way that it's even functional now with Hammer Forge and, of course, the increased range that you get with it, it holds on to damage better on longer range maps, but if you're using this over a Pulse Rifle or a Scout Rifle on longer range engagements, then that's just a no-no right off the bat. If you do happen to make the decision to call, hey, I want to use this weapon with Focus Fire, equip Linear Compensator 2, it will give you an additional damage. That one damage will result in one less headshot to kill, which will, in fact, speed up the time to kill if you are landing those critical shots on point like you need to. But again, that's only if that. Otherwise, I recommend using smart drift control for the weapon. And if you are using spinning up, that's the way I would honestly go. Now, the catch here with this weapon, as I said, auto rifles are just on the bottom right now. Pulse rifles, scout rifles, and hand cannons generally have a better time to kill and are more reliable than the auto rifles. Again, you can argue that with hand cannons depending on the tiers that they are in. But for the most part, hand cannons and auto rifles are on par with each other. Scout rifles, for the most part, are significantly stronger, and the kings are pulse rifles. So just at the base advantages of the type of weapon, it's already at a disadvantage because it is on the bottom tier of what you could potentially be using in Crucible. Any other pulse rifle is a better option, especially the exotic choices. Now, the perks on this weapon are not exotic by any means. They're not unique. Its special legacy perk, its regime perk, is not flashy or supportive at all. You can't really always factor and rely on the regeneration. It's kind of like rolling life support and glass half full together. Glass half full is not that useful of a perk on this weapon and life support's really cool and all but that's all this weapon really has going for it it's not that functional it's not the greatest thing in the world of course you can you know switch between focused fire and spinning up but those are not crazy that's just like flipping a switch do you want you know slow rate a semi-auto or do you want something like this so as it is if you learn to teach yourself how to use focus fire and pretty much tap it instead of using it full auto you'll find more success that way using it as a semi-automatic as if you would use a scout but for the most part, this gun just does not hold on very well because it is, in fact, just not that exotic of a weapon because it just doesn't have a lot of good perks going for it. Now, if they were to increase the damage up to, like, 38 or something like that with the focus fire, it may be a reasonable thing to contest against some of the other pulse rifles out there. If you were to go ahead and increase the glass half full damage a bit so that it is actually worth using then you will have a really, really good solid perk to compensate and go along with that life support that you get at the end of it, the occasional regeneration. Those will make it a reasonable option because, as of right now, this gun's not fancy or special or unique in any way and it's definitely not worth the exotic title. So, overall, should you use this weapon? No. Uh, most auto rifles are just a bad call in general. You can have fun with them, you can find success with them, but if you can find success with these, you can find more success with any other option in the game. And... That's just as blunt as I can put it. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed the gameplay, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for future gameplays and commentaries here for the Taken King. And you guys have a great evening, guys.